Uber is notifying drivers in Chicago on safety tips if they're ever in a situation where somebody is trying to take their car. And that's what we're talking about right now. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and this is Real Rideshare Stories. And today we're going over some safety tips that Uber is reiterating from the Chicago Police Department when it comes to if a driver is ever in the event of being carjacked. So we're going to go over some of the tips that the police are saying that Uber is just reiterating. And then let's go over a few tips to help prevent you from getting in that particular situation, or at least try to mitigate it as much as possible. Unfortunately, this is not just limited to Chicago and the surrounding area, but it's also happening in many other cities across the U.S. As people become more desperate, people do desperate things, and it's not always the right side of the law. So drivers out there, you need to be more vigilant than ever. Make sure you're going to be okay, your car is going to be okay, and you're going to get home safe. So as you see on the screen, this is a message from Uber to its Chicago area drivers, and this is reiterated information from the Chicago Police Department. And it says safety tips for handling carjackings. Uber would like to help keep drivers and delivery people safe as they get back on the road. Chicago police have reported a rise in car thefts and carjackings over the past several months. If you ever find yourself in this situation, please keep in mind the following tips from the Chicago Police Department to help keep you safe. First, give up your vehicle. If you're confronted by a carjacker, give up your vehicle and leave the scene. Then don't engage. Try to avoid verbal, physical confrontations and prioritize your safety. Call 911 immediately, report the crime and try to remember and share as many details of the people that you possibly can. So remember description of the carjacker or carjackers, if there's more than one, and their vehicle, if they have one, and try to share with the police. And there are additional safety tips. And going to the link that is in the bottom there, where you could just do a simple Google search, but I will show you here. Link is going to be in the description below as well, so it will take you right to this page if you want to check it out. But it says what you should know, and it's only two pages long. So first, it says location, location, location. Don't be surprised. So certain areas make it easier for carjackers to engage with you. Drivers should be aware of the following frequent carjacking locations. So it says anywhere a driver slows down or stops, which is residential driveways, getting in and out of the vehicle, parking lots and garages, gas stations, ATMs, intersections with stoplights. Scenarios to be aware of, bump and runs, you're rear-ended, a passenger from the vehicle that bumps you jumps out into your driver's seat when you go to assess the damage and exchange driver information. Note their description and call 911. And then also a stranded motorist. Do not stop for apparently stranded strangers alongside the road. Note their location and dial 911. And safety tips, think ahead. Always be aware of your surroundings. Make sure you're in the habit to enter your car and lock your doors immediately when you're driving. Look around for suspicious people sitting in vehicles or loitering in the area before entering your vehicle. And always park in well at visible areas. Keep your windows up and your doors locked. Equip your vehicle with anti-theft or GPS. Give yourself room to maneuver around stop traffic. Don't get boxed in. So that means when you are coming up to a stop, stop and allow a lot in between. So if you have to floor it, you can get around and go. Uh, keep your cell phone in your pocket. Now, unfortunately, with drivers, you want to make sure that you have a phone that is on your dash. It has to be mounted there. Now, just get in the habit of grabbing it and go if you have to. That is one of the biggest things. And then it says, trust your instincts. Uh, so create a smart 911 profile and include your vehicle information. And then if you are the victim of a carjacking, again, it says, give up your car and leave the scene. Vehicle, vehicle can be replaced. You're irreplaceable. Avoid any confrontations. Remember the suspect's description and the vehicle description if they have one. And if there is a child in the vehicle, 
let the carjacker know child is in the car. And then again, call 911 immediately to report the crime. So that is straight from the Chicago Police Department, and it will pertain to all areas for the average driver. Now, when it comes to rideshare driving or even food delivery, it's going to differ a little bit because you're on the road for different reasons and you're also on the road differently. So let's talk over a couple of tips that can help at least mitigate it or at least reduce it greatly when it comes to trying to prevent that from happening to you in the first place. The first tip, though, that I'm going to say is come up with a plan in the event that something like this were to happen. So think about it. Always think about different situations that you could find yourself in and come up with a plan. It's kind of why we go over some of these different topics. So you can come up with a plan of action if you ever find yourself in some similar situation. So when it's dealing with carjackings, come up with a plan, whether they're in the car already because it's a ride or if you're pulled over and they're coming up and trying to get in your car. Come up with a plan of action. What would you grab? What would you do? What would you look for? What would you see? Try to think about those situations in your mind, play it back, come up with an idea, and then kind of follow through with that on your own. And then that way, if something like this were to happen, it's muscle memory. So you grab your phone right away, you look at who it is, and you're able to report it. Whatever it might be, just have that plan in place and hopefully hopefully, hopefully you'll never, ever have to use it. So now let's talk about those two possible scenarios. Either they're already in the car because it's a ride that's happening or they're approaching the car. The first one, you just don't know. I mean, if you have a gut feeling when the ride is about to begin that something could go wrong, cancel the ride and get out of there. That's the first thing. Lock your doors and make sure you get out of there. And that's if you have that gut feeling. If you don't have that gut feeling and you allow them in the car and then all of a sudden it's happening, well, again, run through that scenario in your mind and get out of the car. Follow those things that the police had said as well as what Uber had reiterated. Get out of the car, grab your phone, get to safety, and call 911 right away. Now, unfortunately, at that point, there's not really anything you can do. That's a risk that you're going to have to take as a rideshare driver picking up in particular locations. And it's just something that you may have to deal with. And like I said, that's why you want to have your plan of action in the event that they're already in your car because it's a ride that is happening. All right, now let's go over to the other scenario, which would be somebody who's approaching your car and what are the steps that you could take in order to prevent it, be proactive, and greatly reduce the risk of being a victim of a carjacking. So first and foremost, when you pull over to the side of the road, either to wait for a ride to come in, to wait for a delivery to come in, or even waiting for your passenger, keep your doors locked. Also, don't put your car in park. If you put your car in park, you're more likely to look at your phone, become distracted, and not realize what's going on around you. So you want to keep your car in drive with your foot on the brake pedal, and that's going to keep you more aware of your surroundings because subconsciously, you're still driving. You're just pulled over to the side of the road. Also, when you're pulled over, wherever you are, make sure it's very well lit and just pay attention. So make sure you take note of the people around you, what they're doing, the cars that are driving by, if there's anything suspicious, especially right near you. And then also make sure you have plenty of room in front of you and behind you so you have two ways of getting out. So if somebody comes up and boxes you in, you have the ability to back up and get out of there. Or if there's enough room, you could probably squeeze by going forward. So there's a lot of different things that you could try doing when it comes to making sure there is plenty of space both in front of you and behind you. If people are approaching your car and you are not waiting for a passenger, then get out of there. If you are waiting for a passenger and people are approaching your car, roll down your windows, verify who it is. If it's not them or they're trying anything, then get out of there. But if it's your passenger, at that point, put your car in park 
open your doors and let them in. Whenever passengers are getting in or out of your vehicle, make sure your car is in park. At that point, it's much safer to have your car in park than it is to have it in drive and your foot on the pedal, just in case something happens. So again, put your car in park whenever the passengers are getting in or out of your car. And then lastly, if you're driving and you notice people following you, call the police right away and let them tell you exactly where to go and what to do because they're going to have a plan of action to make sure whoever's following you, they can get hold of and pull them over. Now, those are a few extra safety measures that you should be doing in the event of pulling over to the side of the road and or even driving and noticing somebody behind you following you. Now, if you have any other safety tips that you recommend as well, make sure you comment below and let other people know. All right, and that is the end of the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, deliver drivers, and your shoppers. And we'll see you next time.